How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. Today I'm here with Alex Lynn, product line manager here at Ultra. And today we are gonna be looking at the full Ultra Road line. We've got a shoe for every runner, whether you are an Ultra loyalist or new to the brand and trying to figure out the shoe for you. Alex, I think we've got a shoe to fit the bill. First on up, before we dive into these shoes, I wanna just give a little bit of a breakdown of some of Ultra's key philosophies and maybe what's gonna separate an Ultra shoe from a standard shoe on the market. Absolutely, yeah. Uh First thing that we always talk about as a brand, we're very happy and we, we embrace uh, is, is our foot shape fit. So uh, we really wanna allow the, the foot to kind of splay out naturally, feel kind of natural in the shoe, almost like you're just kind of wearing a, a really cushioned underfoot sock uh, effectively and, and not, not overly taper, not, not squish the, the toes in. And uh, that's, that's one of our main principles. That's something that we've continued today uh, and we're actually kind of building upon. So that, that'll be one kind of area to talk through and, and understand the shoes a bit better. Uh, another one is balance cushioning, our balance cushioning platform, which is effectively zero drop from, from heel to forefoot. Uh, again, really allows the foot and the body to align naturally um, where you're not gonna be thrown off. And actually, even from a, a running perspective, uh, it, just, it just feels quite a bit more natural. It allows you to, your posture to be better um, and really kind of telling this healthy running, healthy fit story throughout is those two really combine to tell a really nice story for us as a brand. Perfect. Well, if you're looking to maybe get started with Ultra, you're looking for kind of that loyal workhorse shoe, that reliable daily trainer, what would be a shoe that you'd want to start off with? Yeah, so one I recommend, it's going to be our, our premium neutral shoe uh, on the roads, the, the Torin 5. This is our standard fit, so if you do have any kind of foot health issues or you're looking for a little bit more room, this does a great job of accommodating really any foot that's, that is looking for that room, looking for that space. This is actually the first shoe in the road line that we now offer in a wide width, which is really exciting for us as a brand. We are not a, a wide brand, we're a foot shape brand, and we're actually gonna have a different fit here as well, which is really exciting. This shoe is actually the first shoe in our line to utilize Ego Max as a, as a midsole compound. Really nice feel, very plush, has a nice response to it, but also provides a fair amount of cushioning uh, for those long runs. This is a great shoe to get into the brand to really feel comfortable with. Having 28 mils of stack, really nice feel underfoot here. So this is gonna be kind of the shoe that is a great shoe to start off with. It's just reliable, can get the miles in for that neutral runner, but potentially if you're looking for a little bit of stability, want a little bit more of a supportive feel underfoot, what are some gonna be some good options from Ultra that you can try out? Yeah, so the one I'd recommend is going to be the, the Provision. This has a, a really nice kind of, uh, we've put it in our guidance category, has, has a little bit of guidance to it. We still use our guide rail here on the, the medial side. It's non-invasive, it isn't designed to throw your foot out, but it's just designed to be there if you need it, just to kind of guide your foot uh, through the gate. We are actually now utilizing an Ego midsole with, with this for the very first time, so it's exceptionally responsive. Still has some cushion and protection to it, but really nice feel. This is another good one if you are kind of making that transition into the brand. 28 mil stack, so it does have some substance to it. It has a really nice, just kind of underfoot feel. We've actually flared it out just a touch more, so it feels inherently a little bit more stable, but a really nice shoe to come into. This is on our standard fit as well. So for that stability runner who's potentially looking for maybe maybe a little bit more stability than the provision and maybe a little bit more underfoot cushioning, what would be the shoe of choice? Yeah, so if, if that's the case, I'd highly recommend the Paradigm. Uh, this is a great shoe for us. This, out the gates, we, we actually just came out with this in July of 2021. Uh, really solid shoe with the, the Paradigm 6. We actually worked with one of our elite athletes, Kara Goucher, on this shoe. Um, we developed her, it with her, uh, so she, she provided a ton of feedback. The previous paradigms, that was actually the shoe that kind of got her into the brand. So she was a, a perfect kind of guinea pig, if you will, for, for working with this product. And she provided some great insights. We're utilizing that Ego Max midsole that we have in the Torin. We've actually brought that into the, the paradigm. It's 30 mils of stack, stack height, so it's got a little bit more to it than the Torin. So it feels very protective, very soft and cushioned uses a little bit larger guide rail than the Provision does, so it does feel very, very stable on foot. Um, for those who are looking for something that's got some more substance, ha want that, that really nice foot-shaped fit, this does utilize our, our standard fit here. It's a really good shoe, feels very protective on foot. A lot of people who are transitioning from other brands, uh, you know, other stability shoes, this is another good shoe to utilize. But again, non-invasive on the medial side. It's not gonna throw you out there, but it's stability if you need it when you wear it. Now, taking a look at the lineup, the next shoe on deck, the Rivera. Now, this is a shoe that I've done a little bit of running in, but I'm really curious, where do you feel that this shoe really 
stacks up in this full lineup. Where do you feel like people are gonna utilize this in their daily training lineup? Yeah, the, the Rivera is a really nice neutral road shoe in our line, very responsive, has a really nice underfoot feel, utilizes Ego, which is our kind of our, our go-to uh, midsole compound. Really nice kind of snappy feel, especially when you compare it with Torin. So kind of within your quiver of shoes, if you're looking for something for those kind of longer, you know, miles, you can eat them up with the Torin. Maybe those tempo days, something a little bit faster, highly recommend the Rivera. Another big thing with the Rivera is it's actually introducing our slim fit um, to our line, which is, which is very exciting for us. So one of the biggest things that we've heard is just having a lot of room, having a lot of play for some people in the forefoot is a bit of a turnoff. So we wanted to address that. We wanted to make sure that we still had that room through the med head, still provide a, a really nice kind of stable platform for those toes display, but just a little bit sleeker all the way through. We're actually gonna carry this into our speed collection as well, which is really nice. Um, but this is a great opportunity for somebody who hasn't really tried the brand, maybe a little apprehensive of the fit. This is a really nice kind of half step into the brand and a, a great introduction into the brand. Um, really nice feel underfoot, actually has a nice kind of geometry to it as well. So it feels a little bit faster on foot. Uh, and we've been really pleased with the response so far, especially from those who can mix it in the Torrent with the Rivera. And the final shoe in the lineup, I think this is gonna be a shoe that any ultra loyalist is gonna know. Can you tell us about the Escalante and where you find that this is gonna kind of shine in the ultra lineup? Yeah, so the, the Escalante is, as, as you said, it really is for that ultra loyalist. Uh, Ego midsole is the first shoe ever to have Ego um, as a midsole in it, so we wanna continue that. Really nice feel, feels protective, responsive, yet cushioned. We, we utilize a really nice knit upper throughout, has that unapologetically ultra shape throughout, which feels great on foot. Feels snappy, it feels lightweight, but it can still put in those miles if you need it. Also just a, kind of a little bit flatter, so a little bit different from the Rivera, which has a little bit more of kind of that, that smoothed out geometry. This is a little bit flatter throughout, but yeah, this has been something in the line we really haven't changed because our loyalist doesn't want this to change, so we do make slight iterations, but yeah, the, the Escalante has been a go-to in the, in the line for quite some time now. Alex, the full Ultra lineup is looking fantastic. Year after year, you guys make fantastic updates. And I think now moving into 2022, we've got some of the best product to date from your reliable daily trainer to some more stability options. And then of course, a little bit more of a fast shoe like the Escalante. Ultra has a shoe for every day of the week. If you're looking to get any of the Ultra shoes you're seeing in front of us here, you can find them at runningwarehouse.com.